Hello, how's everybody doing today? So I'm bringing you another episode of my Road to Glory, my FIFA 21 Road to Glory. And in this episode, we're going to be getting the Silver Stars Okafor. Um, and so our first game is up against Tekka Man, who has a beast of a player in Martinelli in the left wing. And I think his name is Frick up top at the center forward striker position. Tremendous. Um, anyway, we're going to be playing a bunch of games in Silver Lounge. Um, so we start off the game. Um, actually, I'm going to go over the, the players that I have probably towards the end or you'll probably see how tremendous these players are. I might do a series where I like describe all the Silver Beasts just because as Silver Beasts, I mean like the Beast Silver players that you can get in this game just because there's a bunch. Um, I have almost every five star uh, skill, uh, five star skiller Silver player, if that makes sense. Anyway, this guy, Mayada, you're going to see he does tremendous runs as a center defensive mid. He's an absolute beast. So I bring it in with Ibarwin, cross it into Hurtado. Hurtado scores that goal in less than five minutes into the game. This guy, Hurtado, is also an absolute beast. I'm telling you, if if, if any of you are, are trying to get these silver team of, the, team of the week or do any silver objectives, go ahead and get yourself a Mexican league. Um, or Liga Mexicana players because they're absolutely tremendous. So Rojas, he's also a five-star skiller. Did you see? I don't know if you saw that where my player just stopped. I don't know if it's FIFA or my controller that does that. Um, so yeah, you can see the five-star skills are there, but I dribble like an idiot, and this guy ends up basically saying like, "Nah, fam." Like I just, there's no way I'm gonna beat you. So he, he rage quits, and then we play against this guy Ben Bengaluru FC. It was a beast team, and I know this guy. I remember him as the Indian, um, the Indian flag player. This guy is actually really good. I remember playing him in FIFA 20, and he's really, really good, and always gives me difficult matches. We're we're neck and neck, but I feel like I have like one or two more wins ab ab above him. Anyway, so I dribble it in, and that should have been really into the back of the net. Like I should have scored that. Um. Anyway, I do score one goal already. Um, and then we, that was a tremendous pass. Rojas brings it in, passes it into Hurtado. Hurtado crosses it in and just puts it like across the goalkeeper into the back of the net. Hurtado is a beast. He is a Colombian beast who plays for Monterrey in the Liga Mexicana. I'm telling you, beast. So I'm up 2-0 at the beginning of this game. And, um, yeah, things seem to be going really well. But then this dude just like, nah, fam. Just like, nah. He's like, he's good. He, you know, brings it to 1-2. And then he drives it towards the sideline. Does a little dribble move. Passes it in. And puts it into the back of the net. And now we are tied at 2-2. Two two. I feel like that little celebration is slightly toxic. I don't know if, is that, if that's just me or not. But I, I feel like it is. Anyway, we get Hurtado. Hurtado dribbles it in, dribbles it in, finds a space for Quinones. Quinones brings it in and across the goalkeeper. This guy has a rocket, absolute rocket. And if if any of you are going to be playing the Silver Lounge or trying to get these silver players, I would recommend investing on like an actual good team and not just, you know, choosing the silver players that you have just because like, I don't know, it's so much more fun. I, I've been having so much fun in the Silver Lounge um so much more fun than like playing rivals or anything like it's i'm just having a blast an absolute blast playing fifa 20 21 and doing the objectives doing the silver lounge all the live lounge games are tremendous so we go into the half and uh we're up three to two so rojas does a little bit of dribble moves uh really doesn't do anything sometimes i do dribble moves or skill moves that really don't do anything and i kind of hate that it's just like i'm doing dribble moves for no reason just because it looks cool or feels cool anyway uh after that failure of a whatever i did this guy works on his counter attack and um that's just unfortunate how the ball just automatically bounces in front of you know my opponent's feet it's annoying but it's whatever now it's uh three all and uh yeah i'm just like nah fam like we we got it we got it score and uh i do with acosta who is also another five star skiller silver player so if y'all want me to like go over like a bunch of silver beasts i might make that into a series just because i'm really enjoying the silver like lounge so much more than 
everything else really it's my favorite game mode um i also got moye i think that's it or mullet <laughs> it's probably moye since it's french but um yeah and he ends up tying it at 4-4 in the 77th minute i was actually pissed about this um but yeah no 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 I, I i i mean i've gotten a couple of like objectives for like 86 players and you know i don't really care like i'm out here playing silver lounge because it's so much more fun for me um anyway quinones um th th i i was kind of pissed like how do you not get control of the ball right there in the 90th minute you know you're lonely with a goalkeeper and so uh the game doesn't end at four to four um even though it it just the game ended uh we i had no idea but in silver lounge there is a winner and you go to extra time i had no idea but you know you do and so it's four to four and we're going into extra time and it's a really tight game uh like i said before this this player is really good him and him and i are neck and neck as far as skill level goes um you know sometimes he wins sometimes i win but um yeah so anyway my yeah did you look at this absolute run for my center defensive mid do you see that do you see that Dude, this guy's tremendous. I paid like 3,200 coins for him. I got, dude, tremendous. He's Uruguayan. He plays for, I think, Toluca. 90, 91 pace. I think it's like 91 acceleration, 88 acceleration, something like that. He has like 69 shooting or something, 70 defending, um, like 77 dribbling, and like 73 physical. He's just a beast. He's just an absolute beast. I, I'm just, he's probably the best player that I have on the team. Um in my humble opinion. Uh, so yeah, I do a couple of changes. I put in another five-star skiller who plays in, he's who who's uh, from Thailand and he plays in the Japanese league. Uh, but that pass right there is kind of bullshit, dude. That's kind of bullshit to be quite honest. And then he's going to, I feel like that's a toxic like celebration. I, I, I feel so. Maybe it's not. My chair is squeaky. Just calm down. And uh, yeah, that was annoying. That was an annoying goal because it, it was basically like I just gave it to him. So we have Hurtado who who runs it across the sideline. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I thought that was a penalty. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. Uh, my, my voice is kind of going real quick. Let me take a little sip of water. Probably the most disgusting sound you've ever heard. Anyway. <clears throat> 5-5 five, five going into the second, I guess, second part of extra time. And uh, I actually change, I take out Rojas and I put uh, Iturbe, who I believe is from Paraguay, Paraguay. Um, so, yeah, I put in team press right here. It's the last three minutes of the game. Just chill. And uh, I was trying desperately, desperately, desperately to to not have this go to extra time and uh it was just it was it was very difficult <clears throat> it was very difficult i mean it's already one under 20 minute 120th minute and you know the time has passed by um but wait oh quinones quinones with the with the pace with the strength drives it in crosses it in pass it into palanta palanta passes it to hurtado golazo al sin bombazo papa al sin bombazo hurtado in the 120th minute oh what a savage the absolute savagery the absolute beastly the the the, the disgustiness of that goal and we end up winning the game Six to five in the literal last second of the game. The last second of the game with that leopard ball. Come on, bam. And we go up against this guy who's Roma AS, who this guy is actually also really good. Um, really good player. Who has, I think, like almost all the, the silver team players. Um, silver team of the week players. Um so we start off kickoff. It's a little funky. We're, I, I always like to feel out my players, see how they are. Are they defensive? Are they, uh, you know, attacking players? A little bit of a juke right there. A little bit of a juke right there. Uh, I cross it in to Quinones, and Quinones puts it into the back of the net with less than three minutes into the game. Absolute beast of a squad that I have. I, dude, I'm telling you, I'm not just playing against some scrubs, dude. These guys are pretty good. Like, 
these these guys are good or at least good in comparison to me okay um so he ends up tying it 1-1 uh with a swedish player he's he's doing probably one of the objectives with like more than 80 pay, uh, 80 strength or something um mayada you see him make like runs He's tremendous, dude. He's tremendous. His passing is decent. His dribbling is decent. His pace. Oh, he's a tremendous player. Uh, Quinones. I pass into Quinones, and Quinones puts it into the back of the net. Um, now we're up two to one in the with fifteen minutes on the clock. Beast. Just up, dude. I loved. I well, I loved playing and making this video, but I absolutely love playing Silver Lounge. It, I hope they have this the entire year of FIFA because it's so much fun. Like I'd rather play this than like rivals or foot champs or, or it's just, it's just tremendous. Sorry for my yawn. It is uh 1 AM and uh, he ends up tying it at two to two with 20 minutes in, in, you know, in the game. Dude, these are high scoring games, um, but it's a lot of fun. So I, uh, cross it over the defender to get Rojas on the side, on the wing. I do a little dribble juke type of move. Um, and then I get Acosta. Acosta, pass it to Hurtado. Acosta to Hurtado. Acosta, 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 goal! He's also a five-star skiller. Um, yeah, dude. Literally, these silver five-star skillers are tremendous. And then I drive it in with Acosta. He just, he did these players are, are amazing. I juke him, I take him, and then I pass it to Urta. I cross it into Hurtado, and he just puts it into the back of the net. Now I'm up four to two, uh, going into the halftime. I know it's 44 minute, but yeah, I go into the halftime. So those are the stats. <clears throat> I try to take him out because I knew I was positioned poorly, and uh, he just somehow. Uh, chokes it and uh i pass it to quinones quinones passes it to hurtado hurtado creates the space you see the space i created for quinones quinones right ready and he freaking chokes it i can't believe he choked that um but i guess that's my fault <clears throat> i put in iturbe just because i feel like rojas is kind of clunky i know he's a five-star skiller and he's you know this is good but he's kind of clunky so i pass it into acosta bring it into acosta acosta scores that goal and i'm up five to two i was actually surprised because usually when i play this game against that particular opponent he's actually a really good player and tends to give me i he tends to beat me more often than i beat him um but i just I think I just had the better team, honestly. Or maybe he was just struggling or just not having the best game. But I um, end up winning six to two. oh, I'm I'm winning six to two after that goal by Quinones, who is just an absolute beast, dude. He is probably one of the best silvers that you can actually. I don't want to say that, but he is he he is an absolute beast. And then I go look at this beauty, whoop whoop, <laughs> and got him. G -g -g got him so yeah we we um <clears throat> 72 we're giving him an ass smacking bro it's just an ass smacking and uh i knew he was gonna score here of course he's gonna sweat it i mean why wouldn't he um he's down by like five goals and i think that like there's certain celebrations that i think are toxic and i think that one's toxic like, you're shaking your ass in front of my face. Like, what? Do you want me to throw money on that ass? Like, come on, fam. And then I... Oh, I put this guy, the five-star skiller from the MLS, and I just absolutely destroy his team. This is, like, absolutely disgusting. <laughs> like, he was probably... He probably wasn't trying at this point, but I just, like, just take him. And then he ends up having a decent shot, and it, it is eight to three. And, uh, yeah, we end up winning that game eight to three, uh, super fun, super fun game. Uh, Luciano Acosta ends up scoring three goals with three attempts and, uh, yeah, we fulfill all the requirements, all the like objectives that we need and we get Okafor. Um, I haven't really been using the team of the week players, but eventually I think we're going to create a, like, there's going to be beastly players anyway. Um, 
yeah with that being said uh i really want to thank you all for watching if you like content like this go ahead and hit that like button subscribe for more content like this and i love you all right bye bye